what's going on guys nick from jr tech here and today i'm going to show you how you can boost the fps on all your video games in 2020. on average people get around 60 fps but sometimes there's issues that arise that disrupt that so first what you're going to want to do is go down to the battery tab in the bottom right corner and click on that uh, and you can see here that it shows best battery life and best performance so in order to get the best performance obviously you're going to want to drag it all the way to the right here Next, what you're going to want to do is go to your search bar and search for notifications. This will open up a whole prompt of uh, notifications that your computer processes on a daily basis. And you're going to want to go ahead and turn off the ones that you don't find necessary. So uh, first, what you're going to want to do is turn off all these tabs under notifications. So uh, get tips and tricks like you do not need that. Show me Windows welcome experience. I personally don't need that either as well as uh, reminders and whatnot. So you're just going to want to go through this whole list here and turn off the things that you personally don't think you're going to need that will be running in the background. Like, uh, for example, I don't think that I'm going to need PowerPoint notifications, so I turn that off. And just use it at your own discretion. Like, you don't have to turn everything off. You might need some things versus other things, but just uh, turn off accordingly. Next, what you're going to want to do is clear all unnecessary and temporary folders. So you're going to go into your search bar and type run and you're going to get this prompt here so we're going to do this a couple of times what you're going to want to do here is percent temp percent and you're going to just see all of this right here uh, a lot of these are temporary files that your computer generates over time and they can clog up your flow so you're going to want to highlight everything and just delete and when you get a prompt like this just click do this for all current items and skip because they might be necessary uh, but as for the rest of them, you do not need them to operate your computer on a daily basis. So you can see here that a few were left over. You're going to want to go ahead and close that. And next, what you're going to want to do is uh, go to your recycle bin. And uh, so you can see all that there. And you're going to want to just uh, click on recycle bin tools and empty recycle bin. You can see on the size there that, you, that a lot of these files take up a lot of space. So once you actually send the file to the recycling bin, it's actually not deleted. What we're going to do is take a look at your task manager. So to do that, you're going to click Control Alt Delete on your keyboard and you're going to have the task manager pop up there. So you can see that Google Chrome runs very high. Uh, you're just going to move accordingly. But first, what we're going to be doing is that you're going to want to click on the startup at the top uh, tab up there. So you see startup and you're going to see all these processes. You can see under status that some are disabled and enabled. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and disable the ones that you personally do not think you need. Personally, I don't think you need most of these startup programs. So I just disabled the vast majority of them apart from the two programs that seem to be run by the computer. And you can see there that all you need to do is right click and disable. Next, what you're going to want to do is go to your computer. Uh, you can find this under the file explorer and you click on this PC and you're going to click on your OS drive. So you're going to right click your C drive and you're going to click on uh, properties. And when you're in properties, you can see here that disk cleanup right there. So you're going to go through this whole thing uh, and just check mark everything. What this is going to do is just uh, make sure that you clear any more unnecessary files that are either corrupt or running temporary storage on your computer. So once you have everything checked, you're, what you're going to want to do is click on uh, clean up disk drive. So you're just going to click OK or clean up system files first. And it's going to go through this process here of cleaning through everything. Now that this is done, you can see that uh, another prompt comes up. You're just going to click OK and delete files, and it's going to go through another uh, process of deleting these selected files. All right, so now that we are done that, you're going to click on Tools under the same Properties tab, and we are going to click on Error Checking. So when you click on Error Checking, you're going to want to click on Scan Drive. And as that scan is being completed, you're going to get another loading prompt that could take some time, uh, but you're just going to want to let that work itself out.
Now that the scan is complete, after a few minutes, you're going to want to close that out. So you're going to click close. And what you're going to want to do next is uh, go to optimize and you're going to click on the drive that you use the most. So I use my OS drive and you're going to want to click optimize right there. So as you can see, uh, you can change the settings and I personally don't think it needs to be done weekly. I do it monthly, but on my own manually. So I turn it off the schedule so it's not constantly updating in the background, uh, determining if it needs to use uh, the process. So once you do that, you're gonna close that and click OK on the properties. Next, what you're going to want to do is go into your search at the bottom and look for advanced system settings. Once you click on that, you're just going to go through the tabs here. Uh, you must be logged in as an administrator to do it. So you're going to click on the settings under the performance tab and you're just going to go and uh, adjust for your best performance. So when you adjust for best performance, you get a lot of things that are going to change in terms of your graphics on your computer. You can see that the icons and the text are a little different, like there's no screen drag when you drag it around, it's just the box. Uh, and that's just to optimize the usage of your computer. I personally have a pretty strong computer, so I just let Windows choose what's best for me. But again, you can change it to what best fits your needs. So if you're trying to run a game with low FPS uh, on a pretty bad computer, uh, you can do that and actually boost your FPS a little bit. And lastly, what you're going to want to do is go into your personalization settings and you're going to change the color and transparency. So you're going to pick your color, uh, usually darkest is best, but the most important thing is that you turn off transparency effects. What this will do is that uh, when you're running transparent in terms of your start bar or your overall computer performance, Basically, your computer in the background will be running this process to show anything that is below that surface and it does take up some memory space as well as uh, impacting the computer performance. Well, those are just seven quick tips on how you can improve your computer FPS when gaming. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and we'll see you in the next one.